Over the past few months, we have received a lot of requests from our fans and community members to share more details about the upcoming original Prusa SL1 3D printer and its development process. So today we would like to give you a proper update about the progress and also showcase some of the SL1's features. And yes, we know we're running behind schedule, so this video should also give you a bit of an insight into what's going on at the moment. The development of hardware can be full of unexpected obstacles and we have obviously encountered a couple of them, so we needed some extra time to find solutions. After all, our priority is to deliver another great 3D printer, a machine that works out of the box, is easy to use and does not suffer from hardware problems, such as noisy parts or cracks on the display. And actually, cracks on print displays were one of the issues we've been trying to fix for a couple of weeks. They were caused by a combination of two issues, the display assembly itself and incorrect printing settings. When the print area was almost fully covered, the display had a tendency to crack. We have redesigned the whole display assembly, so this issue should no longer occur, as long as you stick to our recommended settings, of course. Actually, it's still possible to simulate such a situation, although under rather extreme conditions with low-quality resins. Therefore, we strongly recommend using only tested resins that have profiles in our new slicer. We will continue to expand the list of resins and printing profiles, so you will be able to choose from a huge library of tested materials when the printer becomes available. So far, we've tested more than 100 different resins. Also, we wanted to achieve the best level of details on printed models. To do that, we were forced to reduce the thickness of the protective glass, which also means that we came close to the limit of its durability. We had to rebuild the assembly along with the rest of the optical layers to fix that. And eventually, we decided to glue the whole underside of the display to achieve maximum rigidity. For this task, we had to build a brand new dust-free assembly line, which was one of the things that delayed us. However, we can now say that after replacing the hardware, there are no problems with crack displays anymore, and the print quality is better than before. Another important part of the printer that has a significant impact on the print quality is the LED panel. We spared no expense and selected a high-quality manufacturer of LED components. It's a company that is able to ensure a constant quality of delivered products. We have also developed a special sensor for measuring the performance and homogeneity of LEDs in the print area, which is also used to configure the printer itself. Now, let's take a look at what's inside the printer. This is the motherboard with the A64 chip and the motion controller. They handle stepper motors, control the LED panel, fan speeds and many other things. Here's the front panel. It's actually a capacitive touchscreen that displays useful information and allows you to configure the printer easily. This is a so-called eccentric this part, in combination with the connecting rod, tilts the tank with the resin after the UV light cures a layer. There are three fans on the device, one on the side, one on the back and one at the bottom. They are designed to keep the UV LED panel cool and to contain resin vapors inside the printing chamber. This is the Meanwell power supply with our own custom designed PCB, which also means it's easy to connect during the assembly process. And yes, the printer will also be available as an assembly kit. And here is the reflector. Its shape is specifically designed to maximize the homogeneity of light in the print area. The 2K print display assembly is designed to minimize blurring of printed layers, and it's also easy to replace. Another thing that may look like it's not very important, but it has in fact a significant impact on the quality of the print, we have replaced the regular trapezoid screw with a high-performance ball screw. And finally, here's the printing platform, which is attached to the tower via a spherical bearing. Thanks to this part, the calibration of the printer is nearly fully automatic and really fast. So, at the moment, the printer can produce really amazing prints with tons of details. 
You can also choose from a wide range of resins because our machine is not limited to a single brand. We are currently testing the printer and improving the user interface and the overall user experience. And we are not running only internal tests, because as of right now, pretty much final machines are on their way to external testers. So thank you for watching and remember to check our YouTube channel for more videos or visit prusaprinters.org for more news, tutorials and updates from Prusa Research.